So we'll just start with the, the first thing that I just had What did you see from Strider? What did you like the session? No, it was awesome. Played ball really, really well, and it's kind of nice to kind of get that part of the camp going, but he looked really good. Was there a pitch count, like a certain pitch yeah, count? Yeah, I think he went like 30, something like that. I don't know. He wasn't a hard one, so I, I don't know. He was right at 30, I think. What word would you use to describe the bullpen? Our bullpen? Um, geez, good question. I don't know, because I really haven't. I mean, we all the guys that we have that are in the running for that are, are really good. It's it's a strong, deep bullpen. So you watch him first in pretty closely today. What yeah. Did you think no, it's good. I'm just kind of interested in watching him throw, and, and that's a really good arm. Golly, holy cow, he's a talented young man. Um, but, you know, you haven't seen him, you hear about him, and so you kind of want to put your eyes on him. So it's, 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 he's been very impressive so far. What do you think about that splitter that he has? It's good. It's really good. I mean, just it's just it's a really good arm. All he needs is experience. And, he, oh, sorry, go no, ahead. No, I just say he's going to have a he's going to be have a very uh, nice career because, um, you know, like I say, he's got a good assortment and a strong arm and and a no, you know, the, the kid's sharp and, and um, he just to say he just needs experience. Tyler Matzik throwing again. Threw good, yeah. I thought he threw really good. Um, so it's going to be good to see Matz get out there and face hitters, and I'm sure he's excited to do that. But, I mean, I thought his bullpen today was really good. How much does your day kind of change once, like, full workouts start up tomorrow? Like, what are you really trying to assess? Yeah, no. Um, you know, it's it's it'll be good to get everybody in camp and all, you know, working together and doing their drills and, and getting ready. And then Because Saturday's going to be here before you know it. And we're going to be starting games. And, and um so, but it's just always, it's good now we got everybody, you know, everybody's here and they all look great. Um, and I think it's, uh, you know, the week's supposed to be really nice and get better as we go. So, um, you know, it'll, it'll be real when we're starting tomorrow. Once you get the first live VP out of the way, does it feel like things start to really get going? Yeah, just, you know, that first full day, you know, it's kind of, uh, you can't wait for it. But then again, you're, you're like, you just kind of want to get them, get them in, get them out and then, you know, you get kind of settled in your routine. Stid talked to Ozzy uh, in the locker room about mm -hmm. being like one of the last starters from that 2018 team who's still kind of there starting in the infield. He said it makes him feel old. Uh, how would you say that? Well, I know. Cool I said he probably feels old. He's not. He's still <laughs> a kid. Um, but, yeah, um, he's just, like I say, Ozzy just keeps doing it. I mean, um, like I say, he's still a young man. He's just getting started and everything. So, um you know, I'm glad he's around. I know that. Love having him here. Have you seen him kind of take on maybe a more leadership role now yeah. that he has been No, absolutely. Here for a while? I mean, Ozzy's one of those guys that he leads by how he goes about the game, how he conducts himself, how he handles himself, his work ethic, the energy, and, and how he plays the game. I tell everybody, it's like, you you know what, play the game the way Ozzy does, and you're going to play it right. What do you enjoy about Spencer Strider's intensity on the mound? Oh, man. I, you know what? I've enjoyed. You know, just getting to know him and, and um, just thought even after his first full year, just how in tune he was with everything that he does and how bright he is. And he's got a plan and knows himself and is just so dedicated and, and um, consistent in all of his work. It's just he's a he's another one that's just a really impressive young player. You mentioned bright. What stands out to you about just how cerebral Spencer is? Well, yeah, yeah cause I think the biggest thing to me is, you know, like he, he's he's going to be one of those guys that is never sad satisfied he's always going to feel he can do better um, but I, I just love how like I say he, he's really in touch with with himself and and, um, and what he has to do and how he goes about it and um, he just he's a, a really cool guy to, to be around not that Charlie Culberson is here he's in the minor league camp but him making the switch over at pitcher this late in his career are <laughs> you excited to see yeah him? no hopefully you know we'll get him over here and, and get him in a game or two and um, I saw him throw side um, this winter at a facility and and um, you know I've seen him throw I mean I pitched him a few times when he was up here as a position player so you know good for Charlie I mean Charlie's a baseball player you, you know what you always tell him it's like you know you just make him tear this thing off that uniform off off of you, and he is. With Strider having the first live BP session, does that mean anything going into that first game that he could be the first one on the mound for you guys coming? Yeah, he could be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Might be. More likely. <laughs> okay.